Maker Moments, make a space shield. Hey everyone, so today we're gonna to be making a space shield. I've got my notes of what I wanna do, some cardboard, some tape, glue, scissors, string, a pencil, a cup or something to trace with, and some fun construction paper for our decorating later. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. We're gonna take our cardboard here and I'm gonna use this cup to sort of help me trace the shape of the shield that I want. I went ahead and grabbed a piece of cardboard that was pretty close to the size of the shield that I knew I wanted, um, but I kind of wanted to have rounded corners. Depending on what your imagination says, you could also have your shield be a rectangle or a circle or any shape. Also, sometimes you might need to retrace a little bit and that's okay. So that's gonna help me cut and have sort of evenly rounded corners as best I can. So now I'm gonna use my scissors and cut the corners. There we go. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab another piece to cut the armband that's gonna go on the back of the shield. And I'm just gonna sort of guesstimate about the right length. You'll need to base that on the size of your arm and also your shield. All right. So now I've got my shield and a sort of handle that I'm gonna put on the back here. And I'm gonna go ahead and fold the ends here once or twice because we're gonna kind of tuck them in here in a second. And it's just about an inch or so per fold. And you can see what I've done there from the side. And I'm just gonna bend that cardboard a little bit just to make sure there's enough space for my hand or my arm to get through. All right, so now we're gonna do a pretty cool cardboard fastening trick that I learned. So off camera, I put two holes in the end of my handle and I'm gonna line those on the shield and make some marks so that I can actually mark on the shield where I need to put in my holes. Then I'll take my pencil and bore in some holes into my shield. I'll have two holes on my shield, two holes on my handle, and I can put it all together with string here in the next step. So now I'm gonna go grab my string and I'm gonna actually get another piece of scrap cardboard here and cut it into just four thin strips. So we're gonna use this for the anchor points of our handle. All right, so I'm gonna take my string and fold it over its side here so that you can make a little loop. And I'm gonna put that loop through the shield so I can see the side of the loop on the other side of the shield. Then I wanna take one of those little strips and put it through so that it's holding the tiny piece of cardboard on the other side. So yeah, now I'm gonna take my handle and I might need to use my pencil to bore a little bit more just to make sure that hole is ready for the string. I'm gonna put the string through and I'm gonna grab another tiny little strip of cardboard and tie that string around the strip so that there's a strip on each side of the fastener anchored by the string with the handle also in place. So I'm gonna give that a good tie there. Make sure that's a good fit, nice and tight. All right, and then I'm gonna bend the strap there and I'll grab and get ready to do the other side. Again, you're gonna fold that string over, put it through your shield so that you can get the loop on the other side. Then you're going to put the strip in the loop, pull. Make sure that the hole is ready for the string. Put the end of the string through your handle. Grab your last piece, a little strip here, and tie that on. It's at this point that I realized that I actually folded one side of the handle out and one side of the handle in. So off camera, I reverse it back. You can either flip your handle sides out or flip them in, but it helps to do it the same way on both sides. All right, so you can see I've got both of my handle sides turned in. I've got a bolt on both sides, and now I have a handle that can move a little bit with those cool fasteners. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of extra tape on here because it's gonna be part of my design, and also I wanna make sure that if I'm playing a little hard with the shield, that it's gonna stick and hold even better. You can also just use tape to put a handle on, but this cardboard fastening trick is gonna give you that little bit of extra support and a little bit of extra flexibility. All right, nice and secure and enough space for my hand and arm as well. So then I just took my shield and decorated it. I used fun construction paper, extra pieces of cardboard, even a little bit of chalk, just had fun with it. So whatever you have at home. Thanks so much for joining us on Maker Moments.